today we're back in solo queue and I think I've played a lot of mages back to back recently so we're gonna change it up. And it seems like we already have someone tanky in our team and I'm not sure if anyone's gonna play a tank to roam so we're just gonna go ahead and pick this invisible butt scratching lady and I'm going to pretend that I know how to play a roaming Natalia so it's just between you and me don't tell my teammates. This is probably my favorite Natalia skin, but we have trial cards. And if we don't use these trial cards right now, then Moonton's gonna feel bad for giving us these things for free. And we all know that the best things in life are for free, except these trial cards, of course. Now that we are in game, we're gonna get our dire hit roaming boots for that extra kill securing team player supportive power. I should probably check the enemy blue buff but I see that Chang'e is inside this bush and also Selina. So let's help them out by scratching their backs because I know how itchy it is when you hang around tall grass like these. And it looks like Selina's itch is all gone, we have scratched it all out. Meanwhile, we still have Chang'e here who's still a little itchy and is taking it out on our teammate Bloody Boy who couldn't land that last skill. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have killed her with my execute but we're gonna try again later. And we are gonna try harder. Let's go Bloody Boy, don't fail me now. It's perfectly set up and I got this Chang'e on my claws but you, uh, you gotta land your skills and uh, you gotta be there at the right time. Be honest, you didn't see me coming, didn't you? But what do we have here? Another set of skills that didn't hit from our vampire boy. I hate Twilight. Okay, we might have had a minor amnesia because we're forgetting that this is solo queue. And in solo queue, if you want to secure kills, you gotta do it by yourself and execute the plan properly. And we're still not level 4, but eating grass will fix that. There we go, yummy. Meanwhile at the bot lane, our marksmen seem to be getting attacked by a giant cockroach. That's what you get for carrying a stinky monkey around. But never fear, I'm pretty sure that we can kill that health hurt, right? And um... Whenever I die, it's always Sicilian on my screen. This is uh, getting kind of suspicious. But that is fine because the enemies are still at the bot lane and we can ask for some payback. They send me back to base, it's only right that I return the favor by making sure that this emo gunner never goes behind our tower ever again. We can probably get this Chang'e as well but her pissy ult hit us so we're going to just hang out here because Selina is there as well and I really don't want to deal with her poopy traps. But it looks like we have a Chang'e here who was having an existential crisis. There you go, I fixed it. You don't exist anymore. Meanwhile, this Selina seemed to like scratching air because I wasn't there when you dove in and I'm not here now because this Granger looks like he's thirsty for revenge. Also, I see Uranus crying in the chat right now. What, what happened to it? You know what? It's probably my fault. I'm the roamer and I never went top lane to help out Uranus. But in my defense, I didn't know that Uranus can't take a 1v1 against the enemy top laner. And what a fantastic turtle soup steal from our jungler, Roger. Let me return that favor by securing this kill. See how I timed my execute just right? Yeah, don't worry, you'll get to that level as well. Takes 10 years of kill securing to be able to pull that off. Beam me up, chicken. I'm very low HP. Meanwhile at the top lane, I now see why Uranus was losing this lane because he was up against a Zilong and we all know that Uranus is weak to spear stabbing. Okay, so where should we go? I guess we should push the mid lane. It's been 6 minutes and it's still standing. But this Selina needs a slap to the face with my very long and hard claws. Yeah, I'm talking about the, these claws. Okay, but back to the pushing of the mid lane tower. We don't have a lot of minions here. Actually, we don't have any. But we might be able to never mind because uh, he runs really fast. It's turtle soup cooking time and our teammate there needs our help right now. But I need to hang out and eat grass for a little second so I can turn invisible. And we're going to hang around this bush right here just to make sure that Roger secures the turtle soup. And he did. 
and I see that Uranus might need some help again because it's taking bullets up itself. And we all know that Uranus is also weak to getting shot by bullets. I can see Spear Boy, but he can't see me. Okay, maybe now he can see us. We got hit by Chang S. Pissy Sprinkles, and I got Chain Stunt. I think I got Flip, and I got Selena Stunt. Very unfortunate, but that is fine. I died, and our teammates killed two of them. And I don't feel bad about that, I just feel like scratching the eyeballs out of the first person that I see. And the first person that I see is not even a person, it's a cockroach. And this Granger is a person, but I don't think I have enough HP to scratch his eyeballs out. That's why we sometimes let Roger do the honors. We got teammates pushing the top lane, so I guess we should help them out by not letting the Selena get to them. Okay, we still did our part. That's what matters. But what matters even more is how we get up and get back to the team fight so we can secure our kill. And the enemies only have their outer towers left, so it might be a good idea to set up camp here and take out their mid lane tower when an opportunity presents itself and uh, disappears. Ah crap, that was too close. I had my execute, but the lights went off. I really gotta pay that bill. It's been three months now. We can't seem to find an opening to get inside the enemy base, so I guess we have to make one. And we start by getting rid of all these minions that are pushing the bot lane. Oh no, the boss minion is coming after us, and like I always say, nobody comes after me. I always come first. And what I mean is I always attack first, like what I'm doing to the Selina, who seem to not be able to fight back. But that is fine, fighting back is too mainstream, so I'm gonna tell my teammates to take the Lord while I push this lane one more time because we're not making any progress here, we're just letting the enemies farm. Now that the enemies are defending against the minion wave that I sent at the bot lane, we're gonna help out our teammates by securing this Lord. Okay, they're pretty good in last hitting. Now we have the Lord marching right to the top lane, but I don't think Uranus can wait for that. So we're gonna join him in this team fight, and we are overextending a little bit. So let's back off right here and quickly give this Zilong a trip back to the base. Now the Lord is very close to their base, and it just ripped a big hole at the top lane. But we're not gonna enter that hole, because why enter that hole when we can enter a hole that we made here in the mid lane? Oh crap, I think this game's about to end. We're low HP, but we gotta risk it. We're gonna need that tasty victory selfie. So we're going to let our teammates do the job, and we're gonna stand right here. This is bullshit.